Morning. Morning, 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 morning. Right. Let's get straight down to business. Let's get straight down to the topic. Right. Ukrainian girl. Uh, Diana Yastremska. No. Make sure I got my pass. Good. You see this girl? Now, she's what, 22, 23, somewhere around there. Um, still young. Uh, got a lot to learn. And she got a lot of success early on with her power game. Obviously, absolutely destroy every ball as fast and as quick as you can. Try and finish the point within four balls, five balls. That's her, that was, that's her game plan, that's her goal, or was. Now, unfortunately, for some reason that's not working. Unfortunately, that's still her goal. However, she can't see. However, tennis has moved on. Um, not only has tennis moved on, players have got better, players are better at defending, loads of different, um, you know, we could go into loads of things as to why uh, tennis has moved on. Now, yes, Jensky obviously had the, 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 the drugs ban, and I think it was what, nine months, a number of months ban, I don't know exactly how long, but she was banned for um, using performance enhancing drugs, which she denied, and which she fought. However, let's say for example, he was trying to back it up in terms of results before and after there'd be a massive case to say what the Jeez. there'd be a massive case to prove that um, that Potentially, there was some usage prior to. So I'm just trying to see someone. Damn. You get what I mean? Uh, prior, yeah, she goes to the gym. Prior to when she uh, was banned and after she was banned. So prior to the ban. Yeah, she was, you know, competing with the top girls in the world regularly, beating them. I remember a US Open match. She lost it against Naomi Osaka, but it was a great match. I've still got it recorded. <coughs> so that's the that's the point that I'm getting at is that is that she prior to the ban, she was. Um, uh, getting better results since the ban she's getting more injured um, not being able to win matches not being able to last matches so last night and this is why I'm suspicious she is 5-3 down 30 love down in the second set against Emma Raducanu oh, we'll see. Uh, against Emma Raducanu and um, you know she throws in the towel Instead of just playing another two points and giving Emma, I mean Emma, Emma Raducanu advances, but give her the win. Now, obviously, she didn't want to give her the win. She's now got the walkover or the, the retirement at, at, at 30, 30 love. So all she needed to do well, oh, was it on her serve though, which would make sense as to why she didn't want to hit another two serves. So that could make sense. Either way, either way, she um, she didn't finish the match. She did a medical timeout, couldn't finish the match. Emma had a kind of advances. So now, when we think about this now, we're, we're all right. There's another thing, obviously. A lot's going on in a family. A lot's going in a family. A lot's going on in a country. A family have moved out of the country. So we could try and understand that 
which as to why she might not be as mentally strong as previous. So that could be her answer. So I'm not pointing the finger, I'm looking for answers. Because when I see Yastrzemska in the draw, I'm excited. I want to see her play. She's like a earlier version of Sabalenka, but probably just a little bit too, they're, they're just too close to each other in terms of age and time and game style. See, the difference is, because Yastrzemska played um, full juniors and was one of the world's top juniors, yeah, she's got a lot of baggage. Sabalenka didn't. She just come straight into pros and just smashed her way into the to the to be one of the top players in the world. Now, because she's done that, she's different. Yeah, um, um, Sabalenka's different, much different. And reason being is is because of that. She hasn't played. She didn't play an extensive junior. Um, Program. So as a result, she's just uh, straight into straight into um, oh, what do you want to call it? Straight into the pros. Yes, Strenska did play a, um, a large junior program, so she has a lot of baggage, has a lot of mileage, there's a bit more mileage on the clock. Yeah. So those injuries that she's picking up could be over usage could be down to um, obviously continued um, overuse injuries or could be because now she's not on whatever drugs that they were on before and let's let's be honest tennis players don't or athletes don't take drugs to win a match they take drugs to recover from injury or take drugs to not feel the effects of injury. That's one of the main reasons why athletes would take drugs, is to not feel the effects of injury, or to be able to cope with injury. Or, which is probably the biggest reason, to be able to recover quickery from injury, recover, quickery, is this such a word? To recover quicker from injury. So that's probably more the reason whatever she was taking that would have probably been more the case that whatever she was taking was to recover more quicker from tennis injuries like elbow knee ankle joint whatever very rarely would they have been from um, anything other so, you know, she's at the tournament in Slovenia. That's it, Slovenia or Slovakia, it's one of the two. Never had a car in not to, right? So, let's see. I mean, I'm going to have to look at the draw when I get home. I wonder what Radakanu's next match is. Because I, oh sorry, I would be interested to see if Emma Radakanu can play the level of tennis she played last night in a similar vein against uh, an opponent and that's why I really like Sinia Kova as an opponent for Radicano. I like Sinia Kova and, that, and that's just because she's not particularly amazing at anything but what she is amazing at is everything now you might think whoa that sounds a bit crazy so no She's like 8 out of 10 forehand, 8 out of 10 serve, 8 out of 10 volley, 8 out of 10 movement, 8 out of 10 foot fitness, which is amazing in itself to be 8 out of 10 for all of those things. But does she have anything that's 10 out of 10? No, on the tennis court anyway. <laughs> so that's, they're kind of like the worst people for Emma Raducanu to play because they don't make loads of mistakes. It's not like Sabalenka who's got a 10 out of 10 serve when it works. 
10 out of 10 inside out forehand when it works. A 10 out of 10 backhand cross court when it works. So, Sabalenka works on margins of like 60-40. So as long as 60% of what she hits goes in, she's happy. Anything less than that, that's when she's, you know, Sabalenka can lose a set 6-1, but then win the next set 7-5. Kind of like Ostapenko in a way. That very similar. Um, so, listen. Yes, Trenska. I'd love to see her back to full strength. I'd love to see her back to the tennis that's going to win her championships and win her matches and <coughs> um, get, her, get her to the latter stages. Because I've always felt that her game was good enough. I've always felt, and now she's back with um, um, Sasha Beijing. So I don't know where they've got the money from from that. Because I'm sure he, he, he's at, he, he, you know, he must be after some serious dough. I would have thought. But um, I, I am interested to see how they finish the year and how they start the Australian Open or the, the new season next year. So listen guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, all positivity here. Let's hope um, Yastrzemska can get herself back into action, back into um, fighting fitness. Um, I really thought that Emma was gonna run into some trouble yesterday, but she didn't really. I think give it I think retiring at 5 3 down 30 love down I think retiring there is a bit of a to save to save some points or something I don't know I don't know how I don't know how it works but there's definitely an air of saving something there um, but yeah so let's let's hope and pray she's all right See you at the next tournament and let's um, stay positive. But just one more note it goes with the same philosophy I keep saying, and that is if you've only got one game style, you're really going to struggle. You're really going to struggle. In the same way, Ons struggled, who does have multiple game styles, she struggled with nerves when she played in the US Open final. But she also struggled because she knew that all her slices and dices and whips and dips and all that sort of thing wasn't going to her eager. So her biggest weapon, which keeps everyone guessing and keeps all the other players on their toes, yeah, which would have got her to the final, couldn't help her in the final. Now, I think Ons will now go, go back and have a look at her game and look at what extra strings like the Hawkeye thing I said what extra she can add to her bow that she can add to her game to make her multifaceted and make her um, more potent on the tennis court better chance of winning that Grand Slam so listen big topics some, some great sport going on today Spurs play sport in Lisbon and it's the next round so let's see who Emma Rad Radicado plays in the next round but listen make sure you like and subscribe guys uh, really press the like button because it's the likes that pushes me to the top uh, pushes me to the top of the, um, the search engine so I really need those likes alright nice one guys have a great day peace and love love peace and grease see you later bye